Welcome to the Kyber Lab, episode 30. In this episode, we're looking at a Sith Eternal Emperor, or C, plus Watt, versus a Ray team. And this is one of the better Ray teams on defense, with both of the Resistance Hero Bros and um, Jedi Training Ray. So let's take a look. The goal here is 64 or 65 banners once you've played it a little bit and you know how to save one of them uh, for the end and you don't kill Ray last. That's a good way to get 65 points in the new GAC scoring. Um, mod gear check, C should be about the same gear as Ray. That's about it. Mod check, you should have C either in a speed protection primary set or the more common health set. I'm a personal fan of the protection speed set. I think it's a lot more effective, especially in the meta we have right now. Um, and you wanna check Ray's offense. I personally have used my own C in tests and arena versus an R8 versus R8 tests, where Ray has 13,000, 13,200 or something offense, and the protection build at least still works. But you should know where the limits of your C are. So test in arena if you can, um, or just know that over 12,000 can become a little bit tricky. Um, the faster the better for C, because you want him to always be at full health and protection when Ray does her ultimate, and that full health and protection comes from taking turns and getting bonus um, regen protection regeneration from the shield tech, from what, the armor tech. So you start out by linking, in this case, not only the two fastest characters, so you get your alt faster, but you also want to link the bros because they're the ones that do damage. And when you link somebody, they cannot crit. So you slow down the incoming damage to make it easier for you to regenerate via protection. Let's see how it goes. So shield tech always goes on here. This is a, it's just Ian's stream that we're looking at, a fight from his, one of his recent GACs. Let's see who he links, one bro, and then Ray, JTR. You can link Ray because she goes faster than the bros, so she'll get you to ult a little bit faster, but she doesn't really do that much damage with her lifeblood, so I think it's worthless to link her. Um, I think it's better to make sure you control the damage by linking both the bros. Ray, you're gonna be hitting her anyway, because she'll be taunting. So, let's see, who does he go for? It's really not that difficult of a fight. Taking his time. So one thing that's a little bit changed from how this fight used to be, he went with JTR, okay, um, is because Ray now gains, or Sith Eternal Emperor gains turn meter, when an enemy takes a turn with a unique buff on them, which is what lifeblood is. And when enemies gain turn meter, Ray gains mastery, which increases her damage. So Ray does a little bit more damage now than she did before the road ahead changes from some months ago, but it doesn't really affect the counter. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Ray is about to go into alt. And vulnerable is there. Okay, so in this situation, he has to know that he has enough health and protection to take uh, the hit, but he goes into alt. You could s regenerate your protection. In that case as well, use the middle ability and stay out of alt to be sure if you know, if you're not sure this is gonna keep you alive, but let's see what happens. Okay, pretty decent 30% or so health. And now here is where he loses the fight. So he now has healing immunity on him, so the Protection regeneration will not happen. And if he uses the ultimate, the damage from the ultimate um, will not heal him. So he's low. The only thing you need to do in this situation is you reuse Link again to take two turns and to get rid of the healing immunity. He's going to die now. Maybe he survives a little bit. Okay, that was the one turn. Healing immunity is gone. And now he goes, oh, but it's the sudden whirlwind. Yeah, so this is a very, very easy fight. Assuming your C is modded correctly, and you know that the Ray is not over 12,000 offense, or 
If she is, you have practiced and that your mods are sufficient. Um, just wait and save the link for when JTR uses her healing immunity. Use the link to get rid of it. Don't rush into your ultimate, there's no stress. And it's a very simple, easy win. Hope that helped.